we have become a major player in space technology. We, have, we are slowly progressing in many fields and I think it's time that each one of us have to think that we have to become a major player in medical literature also. We need to start contributing to the literature of our work because by the virtue of having huge number of patient population and clinical work, we can definitely tell the world that, see, this is what happens uh, when you deal with so many patients. So we have enough amount of clinical material. Now we all, all have to think that we need to document what we do and we need to convert our experience into publications and tell the world that we also would contribute. This would be a sign of strength of the growth of the field of anesthesiology in the world. We need to be watched by the world globally. So it's time has come to make this happen and each one of us have to change for this to uh, happen. At this juncture, I would like to thank the wonderful organization that has been done, which has been spearheaded by Dr. Sandeep Diwan and Dr. Sandeep Mutta, who have put in lot of efforts with the help of the Pune branch and with the help of the best ever hospital which I have known because I realize this is the only hospital where I know there is no billing section. I need a round of applause to, to the excellent, uh, uh, I, have, I don't think globally there is a hospital which functions without a finance department and a billing department. Everything in this hospital is free to the patient who walks inside. Can it happen anywhere in the world? No. I think, thank you very much, sir, for making this happen, and that is indeed superb. And um, every bit of this conference has been taken care of so very well, and we feel it a great pleasure and honor to be in your midst, in your institution, to use the vast expanse of this uh, institution. Today, the workshop was done in eight different places. I don't think we can ever, ever do it anywhere else in the city apart from your institution and the lovely infrastructure that you provided and all the staff of your hospital who have helped us to make this a possibility. Thank you very much, sir. I also take this opportunity to, to say that uh, regional anesthesia is growing in many ways. And uh, I would like to uh, tell that the first postdoctoral fellowship in regional anesthesia has been started by the Dr. MGR Medical University in Tamil Nadu. And uh, our institution, the Ganga Medical Center and Hospital Coimbatore, has been uh, given the accreditation to conduct the program. And I would like to recognize Dr. Amit Dikshit from Mumbai and Dr. Rakhi Datta from Pune. Can you please stand up? So they will go into the annals of the history of the regional anesthesia of the country as the first two postdoctoral fellowship in regional anesthesia in this country. <laughs> Thanks, Samit, and thank you, Raki, for being part of history. I would end my talk by quoting one of the most uh, popular and famous thinker who lives in Chennai, T.T. Rangarajan. One of the message that I came across uh, really shook me and it's so important that as you progress in the ladder, as you progress in your age, it becomes very important, it's very important to nurture the younger generation. That's the goal of the Academy of Regional Anesthesia to nurture the younger generation to become better than what they are, to equip them fully, to make them globally competitive, to make them self-confident and self-reliant in every case that they do. That would be the objective and the mission of this organization. Titi Rangarajan quoted, for our younger generation, we are the only Quran they will read in their lifetime. We are the only Veda they will see. We are the only Bible they will experience. We are the only Dharma they will follow. Your life, he says, your life and my life will either serve as a warning or as an example to the younger generation. So it's better to be an example rather than a warning to our younger generation. I know it is an awesome responsibility, but how else you can explain 
why you came into this planet before them. So that puts an enormous responsibility on the senior colleagues to nurture the ambition to show the right path to the younger generation to become the best and make India a global leader in producing safe medical practices and make anesthesia safe to every patient who would pass by you. Thank you very much for the opportunity and wish, you, wish to see all of you back again in the next AORA. The next AORA is going to be in New Delhi and I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Deep Arora and Dr. Om Prakash from Delhi who would be organizing, they are from the Fortis Hospital Delhi, who would be organizing the meeting. I'm, I also take great privilege that though it's a very young organization, the first conference we had roughly about 350 delegates to 400 delegates. The second conference at Coimbatore, we need to close the registrations because we conducted in our hospital which can take only 450 participants. And the third conference has attracted about 750 delegates and uh, seeing the response that we have so the organizers of the 2014 conference have decided to change the venue from the habitat center to a much bigger place which can take 1500 delegates so i look forward to welcoming you and be a part of a movement to change the way the anesthesia is practiced in this country and become a global leader thank you very much After those inspiring and thought-provoking words, uh, let me invite Dr. Vrishali Ponde, who is the Secretary of AORA, to give the Secretary's report. Let me embark on my job. First of all, a warm welcome to all of you here. It, it fills with that magic of gratitude when I see this gathering again and again, year after year. Well, so I shall not talk any horns here. I shall simply state facts. I shall not promise anything here. We will see to it that we deliver. At least we'll try our level best that we deliver. Number one, as we, as Dr. Bala Venkat just mentioned, the thought of AORA was crystallized hardly in two to three months with me sitting in Mumbai, Dr. Kulkarni here. He's, uh, he's in the first uh, row sitting. Sir, could you please stand up so that everybody sees you here? He ha uh, yeah. So me and Dr. Kulkarni, Dr. Bala Venkat, Dr. TVS Gopal and Dr. Sandeep Devan. This is how it all got conceptualized in a very small time. And I guess uh, lots of things ca are, are shared between me and Kulkarni, sir, as to how it really came up and the, uh, uh, well, anyway. So this was, this happened in a very short span of time and the way it, it is growing is fantastic. Having said that, we have a globe, uh, not, not a global as yet, but we have a national networking here with the south, the north, the east and the west, people working with us as coordinators, as zonal coordinators rather. Ours is a good big country, so this is how we have planned to work. From the south, it is Dr. Sunil Pandya and Dr. Guru Prasad. From the north, it is Dr. Rupinder, who is here, and Dr. Virendra Arya. From west, it is Dr. Paralika and Dr. Sandeep Mutha, who has shown his abilities here, with, uh, which is very spectacular. And in the east, it is Shaikat and Dr. Giri. So these are our people who are working round about in the whole country. We started with maybe zero members and now we are about 500. And yes, we welcome you again here because Asha Sharma, who is running a stall here, is with the membership farms. You are open to join us and take a very neutral decision. Okay, now let me tell you what Academy worked in the last couple of years. We see Academy work as the work done by the committee members here. 
so we must have held around 6 to 7 live workshops from Pune to South to North and to Mumbai. There were live workshops conducted by all of us somewhere or the other. On the national front, this is the work, on the international front we put up workshops in, uh, I mean one of us did give our work in Washington and Jakarta. So these were the given jobs. Then we have set, you have just heard about the fellowships here. Now we have also started with a bi-monthly course to hone skills in ultrasound guided regional anesthesia. This is an ultrasound guided regional anesthesia skill course and has a simulation guided program. It is held in Holy Family Hospital and if you need any details please visit the website because the dates are being scheduled two months in advance and feel yourself to register if you wish to but do it fast because we don't entertain more than eight people at the same time because it needs a perfect one is to one uh, dialogue for the whole day. Myself and Dr. Satish Kulkarni work on this project. Well, these are, these are few of the things that I wanted to tell you about what the Academy has done and I thank you all for being here. I guess the conference that has been opened up, you all have already got a glimpse of it. It's splendid and I'm sure the live workshop was enjoyed by all of you and we have far more blocks waiting even right now. People are there we, we, and the patients are there waiting to be blocked. So please be here, don't disperse after this. And then from tomorrow onwards, a different kind of feast begins. We are going to hear many, many speakers and all their diverse opinions and their experience. So thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Pondi. Um, since uh, ignorance is darkness and it is only light in the form of knowledge that can dispel darkness, we will now light the ceremonial lamp. Dr. Bhore, sir, we seek your blessings to commence this academic feast on an auspicious note by please lighting the lamp. Dr. Bhore, sir, has always been a towering pillar of strength. So I please request him and the other dignitaries to join him in lighting the lamp. so much. I now request Dr. Balavinkat sir to express her collective respect to our chief guest Dr. Bhore sir, Dr. Smita Sondhatikar ma'am and Dr. Deepti from our uh, department very able anesthetist will help us in doing that. Dr. Bhore sir to felicitate the other dignitaries, Dr. Balavenkat sir. Dr. Ponte. Dr. Bhore sir will felicitate Dr. Vishali Ponte ma'am.
Dr. Bhore sir, please felicitate Dr. Motha, our very able, popular and dynamic organizing secretary. Our patron, Dr. Sant, sir. And uh, Dr. Bhode will felicitate our uh, patron and head of department, Dr. Nafre, sir. request the dignitaries to please be seated. We are, as you must have noticed, we are keeping with the theme and concept of Go Green from the felicitations. We also feel very proud to present the souvenir of this conference uh, in e-format, uh, uh, keeping the concept of Go Green. Um, it is a um, 8 GB pen drive and D DVD with the AOR, AORA logo. It is a collection of all the papers, presentations, lectures and workshops of this conference. I again request Dr. Bhore sir to please do the honours of releasing this event. It looks like that was quite a task, so well packed. 